Good evening, everyone. Welcome to SKK GSV full-time MBA information session today. Uh, first, of all, first of all, thank you for your interest in SKK GSV. My name is Haran Ju, and I'm the admission manager at SKK GSV. I'm glad to meet you uh, through the information session tonight. I'm sure that this information session will be benefit to choose the right university and right program for your dream of MBA. There is a Q&A button on the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can ask the questions anytime. Uh, so we are gonna cover all the questions privately or uh, publicly. So, and um, if there are the questions we couldn't cover at this time, we will email you separately. Also, there will be Q&A session at the end of this old agenda. So you can feel free to ask the questions. Here's today's agenda. Uh, why is SKKJSB? I think many of you are wondering why SKKJSB is different from others. So I want to welcome our faculty chair of full-time MBA program professor, Gosok Polos, to talk about why SKKJSB. Thank you, Sarang, and uh, welcome, everybody. So yes, let's go into the basics of uh, what makes SKKJSB different and why that should be your number one option for an MBA in uh, Korea. So next uh, slide, please. Yes, uh, first of all, uh, if you are not familiar with SKK GSB, it's uh, important to note that uh, this year is our 20th anniversary. So we are one of the younger business schools uh, in Korea. And uh, that is why also our DNA is different. Uh, so we were founded uh, with a specific goal to resemble uh, the top business schools of the world uh, follow an American system, actually, in uh, in the business education. And that is why pretty much everything at SKK GSB is uh, different in comparison to most other business schools uh, in Korea and similar to uh, many of the leading business schools uh, around the world. And next slide. Uh, and, of course... Not by accident, uh, because we operate differently, because of our different DNA, because of, uh, well, the different things that we focus on, uh, SKK GSB uh, has been consistently the only business school in Korea that has been ranked by the Financial Times. Uh, so this year, in 2024, we were ranked uh, at number 89 among the top business schools of the world. And consistently, we have been number one in Korea for the past uh, 13 years and always also quite highly ranked uh, among Asian uh, business schools. Next slide. So what really makes us different is uh, that we focus a lot on being cutting edge. So we focus a lot uh, on being keeping really up to date uh, with developments in the business world, updating our curriculum uh, frequently so that it, it is aligned uh, with changing needs uh, in the business world. And we focus a lot on areas that are hot topics uh, currently with businesses, uh, on areas that uh, modern businesses have specific needs in. So when you learn about these areas, of course, that is going to make your knowledge much more relevant for these businesses. This is going to make you also a very desirable employee uh, hire for these businesses. So we focus a lot on uh, digital transformation, I just finished actually teaching a class on digital transformation to our uh, second year students. And we focus a lot also on uh, analytics, which again is one of the hottest topics right now for businesses around the world. And of course, if you want to learn about these topics in depth, it's not just about theory. It's a lot uh, about learning through practice. So at SKK GSB, of course, you will get the basics of theory, but we focus a lot also on action-based learning, uh, learning uh, through, well, trying, learning through real cases, learning through simulations, learning through uh, working closely uh, with uh, actual corporations that come to us with their real business problems. And uh, MBA students are expected uh, to act as uh, consultants uh, for these uh, real-world businesses with real-world uh, problems. Next. And 
what you will also see when you come to SKH GSB is that uh, it is a very global learning environment. So everything at SKH GSB is based on English. Uh, the faculty, uh, the, the faculty body is very international. Uh, even those that are Korean, they have studied abroad. They have studied at some of the top institutions uh, in the world. So we could say that SKKGSB really has outstanding faculty. Faculty that, uh, again, have worked elsewhere and chose to come to Korea uh, for, for various reasons. So it is also student, the student body, uh, especially in the full-time MBA program that uh, you would be applying to. Uh, it is really international. So the majority of students are actually non-Koreans uh, from many places around the world, uh, from Asia, but also Europe, North America, sometimes Africa. Uh, so it's a learning environment where you will meet people from all kinds of walks of life and all kinds of different places and different cultures. So it really exposes you to uh, this vast world out there and how business is done uh, perhaps differently at different places and how it is affected also by uh, respective uh, cultures. Now, not only we have a very international student body at SKK GSB, but uh, also as part of your studies, you have uh, the option uh, to do part of your MBA program at one of our partner institutions. Uh, so you can get a dual degree, for example, from our partner institution, Indiana University and their Kelly uh, School of Business, or you can also choose to go to France, uh, to EDEC, uh, one of the leading uh, business schools in France. And whether you choose to go abroad or stay in Korea, uh, we also focus a lot on uh, career services at SKK GSB, really calibrating uh, the services that we offer to each one of our students, uh, to their needs, uh, to their career plans, and uh, of course their strengths uh, or well, taking advantage of their strengths, but also trying to overcome any weaknesses that they might have. And this is something that we take very seriously, as I said. So from the very beginning, when you join the SKK GSB already in August, you will meet uh, with the career professionals uh, who will coach you throughout the program, through the duration of the program, so that you can really strengthen your resume, strengthen your uh, interview skills, so that you can, at the end of your program of your MBA, uh, land uh, your dream job. Next slide, please. Now, here are some of the faculty members of SKK at SKK GSB. Uh, you can see that, again, it's very international. Uh, our dean, for example, he's uh, American Taiwanese. Our vice dean, Andrew Yi, he's Korean, even though he spent lots of time uh, in, uh, in the U.S., and Shronak Mungalia, the other vice dean, he also studied in the U.S. Uh, and, well, he's Indian. And uh, among the other faculty, you can see it's, it's a fair mix of uh, Koreans where everybody has uh, stayed abroad, studied in the U.S. And also, well, Americans, Europeans, uh, people from all over, from China, not on this slide, but many faculty from China. But in any case, people that have really studied at the leading institutions of the world, so everybody does have a PhD among the faculty. Uh, so faculty that have studied at the leading institutions of the world are some of the top researchers in their field and also focus a lot on bringing into the classroom uh, the best, uh, most advanced teaching techniques and teaching uh, material. Next slide. Uh, SKK GSB is also proud to have a number of uh, collaborators uh, across the globe. So these uh, universities, uh, as I mentioned, uh, are some of the places that you can go for your uh, dual degree programs or for your study abroad programs. Uh, and we have a number of uh, partner institutions in the US, uh, the Kelly School of Business, for example, at Indiana University, or uh, Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth, University of California at Irvine. Also in Europe, some of the leading business schools like ESMT or IE Business School in Madrid, EDEC in France, uh, and in Asia, Hong Kong, UST or SIBS uh, in uh, China. Next slide. 
Uh, yes, I guess I already uh, talked about that, how in your second year you can choose to go for the study abroad program and either stay one semester at one of our partner institutions or pursue a double degree with either Kelly or, uh, or EDEC in France. Uh, that will uh, have you stay there at our partner institution for one year, but also get uh, two degrees, one from SKK and uh, one from our uh, partner school. Uh, now, our collaborators, they are some of the uh, top business schools uh, around the world. And uh, we're also the first school in Korea uh, to offer uh, a joint uh, JD and MBA. Uh, so some of your classmates might come from the law school at Indiana. Uh, so that adds further diversity uh, to our program. And uh, we also offer, as I said, some uh, very innovative uh, double MBA programs uh, with uh, Indiana Kelly or an MBA and a master's degree uh, together with our, our partner EDEC Business School in, uh, in France. Next slide. Now, about student diversity that I mentioned earlier, it is quite balanced in terms of uh, gender. You can see that it's a slight majority, uh, female. Uh, regarding work experience, uh, there is quite some diversity. There are people that have very little, maybe a year of work experience. There are also other people that might have significantly more work experience, uh, sometimes much more than a decade. So it's a mix again, where you can expect to learn a lot from uh, people that come from different walks of life, uh, different age groups, uh, different experiences, different countries, different industries, but also with uh, very different levels uh, of experience. Uh, a very international pro uh, program. So the majority of students uh, in the full-time program are non-Korean. So. Again, not, of course, from just one country, they're from all over the world. So that really exposes you to all kinds of different ways of thinking and all kinds of uh, different experiences and different cultures that uh, might be important uh, in, the, in the business world, but also more generally in, in life. Next slide. Now, we want to talk a little bit more about the specific of the program. Uh, as you know, well, this is uh, the MBA program. Uh, you know that you will be starting in August, so August 2025. And the duration of the program, it used to be a year and a half. Uh, now we are revamping the program somewhat. So now you can choose whether you want to go for the classic MBA of 18 months or you want to go through a sprint, which allows you to get your MBA in just 12 months. So you would start in August and you would be done by next year, uh, August. I will talk a bit more about that uh, in, the, in the next slides. <laughs> classes are usually, now let's go back to the previous slide. So classes are usually Monday to Thursday, Friday. We often have some other activities, uh, but pretty much as a full-time student, uh, you can expect uh, to be busy throughout uh, the week. The class size is quite small, so it's less than 40 students. Uh, that means that you will get to know your classmates well. That also means that uh, you will be able to get lots of attention from uh, faculty. So we get to know most of our students by first name, of course. And uh, that means that, yes, there are lots of uh, opportunities uh, for mentorship, uh, both from uh, faculty, but also from uh, senior students or from students in our more experienced uh, programs like the professional MBA or the executive MBA. Next slide. Uh, at SKK GSB, we follow a module system. So courses, uh, they last six weeks. So it's uh, quite short. And we do that so that uh, we allow students to mix and match and choose from a large number or large selection of courses. And in a semester, we would start uh, with uh, a module period that is six weeks. <laughs> Usually, you would take six courses during those six, uh, four courses, sorry, during those four uh, six weeks. 
And after that, we would have the intensive week period, which uh, is one week of classes, one week of a break, and then one more week of classes. Uh, in those uh, single weeks of classes, you would be taking just one course. So you would be focusing just intensively on one course. So you would be having every day the same course for four days. Then on the fifth day, you would probably, you would usually have a recap and an exam. Uh, that's the first week of the intensive week or intensive week period. The second week would be a break. Again, in the third week, you would have one more of these intensive courses where you just take one uh, course for a whole, whole week. And after that, you would have one more. So here, MP2, you would have one more uh, six-week period uh, of classes. In the fall semester, you would have core courses. So no choice. Uh, everybody has to take the same courses. That is the foundation uh, in the MBA. After that, in spring and, and summer or in the fall semester of your second year, uh, you can choose from quite a large uh, selection of uh, elective courses. And how you choose elective courses, of course, depends on uh, what you want to specialize in, depends on what exactly your strengths are or what you're trying to improve, essentially what exactly your career plans are uh, after graduation. In uh, the summer intensive week, uh, so at the end of our first year in May, we also have the global field trip where for a week we go and visit some other country, usually in Southeast Asia. Last year, for example, we went to Taiwan. This year, probably we're going to Cambodia, where we go as a class uh, to see how exactly business is operating in those countries. Uh, the global field trip, it focuses specifically on sustainability and ESG. So we go and uh, try to learn from the best practices or from the experiences uh, in, those in, in those countries of companies or government initiatives and what exactly they do to promote sustainability uh, in business and as an important goal uh, for business and society. And then in your second year in the fall semester, you can choose to either stay at SKK GSB, complete here your MBA if you have not already done so in the 12 month uh, period, or you can choose to go for the study abroad program or the dual degree program at one of our partner institutions uh, abroad. Uh, next slide. So here a few more words about the new one year model, uh, one year MBA model. Uh, as I said, you can choose whether you want to do the classic one year and a half or whether you want to complete uh, your MBA in just one year. If you want to complete your MBA in just one year, then after the global field trip, instead of taking the summer off, you can continue with uh, courses. You can take uh, the remaining nine credits and complete them uh, through summer courses. That means basically that, again, you start in August 2025, you can complete your MBA in August uh, 2026 in just uh, one year. This is something that is optional. Uh, again, you can choose whether you want to go for the classic MBA or you want to go for the sprint. Uh, you will be asked about uh, your preferences uh, when you apply. And you will also be asked to make a choice, more definite choice, uh, definitive choice uh, at the time that you enter SKK GSB. Uh, so this is something to keep in mind. Of course, it is up to you whether you want to go for the sprint or for the longer version of the MBA. Depends uh, on your career plans, depends on your uh, life plans and uh, priorities. Next slide. Now, I talked uh, briefly about the fact that uh, at the beginning you will be taking core courses. So we start in August with the boot camp uh, where we want all students to uh, to build a strong foundation in the basics. So you can see here three courses, corporate financial reporting, business analytics, and global business environment. So this is a bootcamp that uh, takes place before other courses start in August and uh, aims at uh, making sure that all the MBA students at the school are able uh, to follow the program, that they have the basics of statistics, of uh, 
accounting of economics uh, as a basis that will allow them to do well uh, in the rest of the program. Next slide. And after that, uh, in the fall, uh, you will be taking four courses in MP1, so the first module period, four courses in MP2, the second module period, and uh, two weeks of uh, intensive uh, courses, so one effective communication, so you can see, and one in business uh, ethics. So that means that you complete uh, 10 courses here in, uh, before Christmas, plus the three courses of the boot camp, you're expected to complete 13 courses uh, before Christmas. Next slide. Then in the spring semester, you can uh, get started with uh, the elective courses uh, in uh, spring semester and then the summer or the fall semester if you choose to stay uh, at SKK at GSB. Next slide. Now, you can choose to take any courses you want among the electives, but you can also choose uh, to specialize in some specific uh, subfield. At SKK GSB, we have uh, three specialization tracks, uh, AI and business analytics, finance, and then marketing. Uh, the idea of these tracks is that it really allows you to go deeper into understanding and learning about some specific topics, business topics. It also allows you to signal to any potential uh, employer that uh, you have deeper knowledge in some specific area. So when you complete the requirements of these tracks, you will also get a certificate that uh, states specifically uh, what you have specialized in. To specialize in these tracks, uh, you need to take uh, a certain number of courses that are specific for these tracks. Uh, the requirements might change, but currently, at least for this current year, we require students to take uh, six courses in uh, the track that they choose to specialize in. Uh, generally, you can specialize in only one track, but uh, you can also combine one of the finance or marketing tracks uh, with the AI and business analytics track. Uh, so if you complete the requirements for both tracks, then you can uh, be awarded uh, two certificates that state again that uh, you have indeed fulfilled the requirements of both tracks. Now, the choice of tracks, uh, it is optional. So it's for you to decide if you want to choose a track or not. If you do not, then you can take any electives you want. Uh, then you follow the default track uh, of uh, management. Next slide. Now, here are some of the courses that you can expect if you decide uh, to specialize in AI and uh, business analytics. Uh, this has been over the last few years one of the most popular tracks. And that makes sense because this is an area that is really hot right now uh, with employers, uh, with, uh, with businesses that are trying to transform themselves and uh, well, keep up with the, with the world that is changing really fast and with a much stronger focus on data, data analytics, uh, making sense of data, but also trying to get a competitive advantage uh, through access to data and uh, analytical capabilities regarding uh, those data. Next slide. Alternatively, you can choose to uh, specialize in finance. Uh, well, that pretty much goes without saying why somebody would specialize in finance. If you want to go into banking, investment banking, uh, maybe the VC industry or anything else, corporate finance, for example, then you might choose uh, to focus on finance more, to take courses uh, that are more in line uh, with your career goals and career aspirations. Next slide. And then third, uh, you might be more interested in marketing. Uh, that's also an area which is quite hot. It's an area where there are significant needs, especially in Korea, if you want to be employed in Korea. So in that case, you would be taking courses that have to do specifically uh, with marketing. Uh, you might see that there is some overlap between courses. For example, here you can see marketing analytics. That also has to do with analytics. 
So the tracks are not exactly mutually exclusive. Of course, there are things that are relevant uh, for multiple tracks. There are also things that, uh, as we saw in previous slides, they will form the basis, uh, required basis for no matter what you want to focus on uh, afterwards. Next slide. Further, as I said, uh, at this at ZSB, we really focus on hands-on uh, experiences. So one of the things that we do in your second year, if you stay at SKK at ZSB for the second fall semester, uh, is the Applied Business Projects. So here, what we do is we go out to our alumni or other companies. We ask these companies uh, to come to us with real business problems that they're facing. So any challenges that they have in their businesses. And then we form teams from among our students. And these teams are matched with uh, our client companies and their actual problems. And the teams of students, they act as consultants uh, for a few months, uh, working closely with these companies, trying to come up with ideas, trying to come up with solutions uh, for the problems that uh, these companies are facing. That gives uh, first-hand experience to our students. Uh, most often they come up with very good ideas that companies can then actually utilize. So it gives very good experience. It gives a very good opportunity for students to apply what they learn in the classroom to actual real-world problems. But it also offers very good connections uh, to our students. So it has happened that uh, these companies, they would be happy with the consulting they get. They would be happy with the ideas they get. Sometimes they might have openings, job openings. They might come back to us or back to the team uh, that consulted them uh, and hire some of our students, some maybe of uh, those team members. Uh, if Even if not, so they might uh, have great references. They might have a great network. So it is a win-win situation where students really, they can learn uh, from this experience, but get also uh, strong networks uh, through this uh, process, through this experience. Next slide. And I said that at the very beginning, uh, that at SKK GSB, uh, what we do is not just about theory. It's really a lot about learning, of course, the basics of theory, but uh, trying to put that theory uh, into practice. So we focus a lot on the uh, case-based method of teaching, pretty much as all the leading business schools uh, in US, uh, in Europe, in Asia as well do. So here what we do is, of course, the professor is going to give you the basics of theory, but then we take real world cases, actual cases of actual companies or actual individuals uh, that face some business problems uh, in different fields or in different topics. And we try to understand the theory through applying it to the actual business problems that these companies or individuals face. Uh, that really allows you to see how this theory works in practice. So what exactly are the real world practical problems that individuals or companies face, what exactly is the decision-making process, what might be the challenges in this decision-making process, and how do you get to an outcome or a decision uh, that might eventually be beneficial or not so beneficial uh, for the company. Uh, in addition to cases, uh, we also use a, a host of other methods, teaching methods that uh, try to make learning much more fun, uh, but also, as I said, a much more hands-on experience. So we use a number of simulations in different fields. You can see here marketing simulations, strategy simulation that I use in my class, uh, innovation or trading simulations. Uh, we might uh, focus on uh, current and real-world events. So professors might bring examples from today's newspaper, for example, to the class. Uh, to be discussed or to be understood and analyzed uh, through the theory that might also be discussed uh, in class. And last number three here, we already discussed applied business projects, but that's also something that really allows you at, as a second year student to take everything that you have learned uh, by that point and uh, apply it uh, to actual business problems of real companies. Next slide. <clears throat> 